Well, this is awkward. <sighs> Come on, Constellation. Quit spinning like a freaking ballerina. Well, here we are in uh, Star Citizen. This uh, this is Port Olsar from uh, from above in space. Pretty nice little space station, I think. I'm just cruising out here, trying to see uh, if there's any ships out here that are good enough to steal. Um, you can actually you can steal other people's ships in this right now. I think they'll change that. You don't lose anything if your ship gets stolen. You can just order a new one. There's a, some kind of delay on uh, how many you can, you know, bring out in a certain amount of time. But you can pay in-game credits for that. This, I think, shadows make it kind of difficult to tell, but someone just jumped in. I think that's a Hornet variant, or sorry, a Mustang variant of some kind. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what this is right here. I tried to look on the website. I did not see anything that resembled that. I'm not even sure if that's a ship or if that's just part of the space station. It looks like a ship, but it's kind of off center there. But uh, as you can see, Port Allstar is pretty big. We got another ship over here. This appears to be a Hornet of some kind. Pretty nice. I like this one. Doesn't look like there's anyone in it. Which is kind of odd because every time I get out of my ship, it starts spinning. So I'm not sure how this one is staying still. But yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. Uh, but as you can see in the background, uh, Port Olisar. Nice eye candy, if you will. They've got four little groups of platforms, A, B, C, D. I imagine uh, when this game comes to beta or something, it's going to be bumping. It does not seem big enough for a persistent universe if everybody's going to be here. Um, this one looks like a Turing, maybe? There's no one in this one for sure because it's spinning like that. I do like to come out to out and just kind of see the ships that other people have because you know, people pay real life money for this right now to back the game, so definitely want to show the support <laughs> and, and see all the ships that they've bought that I haven't bought. But uh, I hear a ship somewhere. There he is. He's out of here. But there's my constellation way over there. Across the vastness of space. You can hear my little jets going off. I'm holding down shift. Makes you go a little bit faster. But I think for uh, for today we'll just take uh, the constellation out for a ride. If I can get down here without hurting myself. Because the gravity is kind of... Uh, ow. Yeah, once you get like within 10 feet, it just kind of sucks you down. It's alright though, I've got a uh, meta kit. Heal myself right up. Uh, I don't have a gun or anything, so if someone does find me, uh, we're kind of screwed. But this is how you get into the constellation. Pretty cool little airlock system, I think. I like that. Uh, if you want to see more of the constellation, just the ship and what's going on. Uh, I did put up a video exploring the constellation, so we're not going to go through it all right here. But what I'm looking for now is uh, something to do. And I think one of the... Um, these are the journals that you get. Nothing new. Um, I'll show those in a later episode if people want to uh, read through them. They, they can. How do I get out of here? There we go. But let me pull up my um, 
mission log. And uh, once I can figure out how to get to the go back, there we go. It's a backspace button. <laughs> and uh, we can repair one of these arrays, or we can do the the PI mission. I'm thinking the PI mission, just because it's got a lot of detail. Thank you for getting in touch with me. My husband recently died aboard the Gundo Kovalex station, but the company is refusing to pay out his insurance claim because they say he was at fault. It's ridiculous. There is no way that's true. I know my husband. Darnell had his problems, but that is all in the past. I want you to go to the Kovalex station and send me evidence that my husband is innocent. But even if you find out that he isn't, you'll still get paid. I know your time is valuable and really, I just want to know the truth. I attached the insurance claim to get you started. Good luck. And I hope to hear from you soon, one way or another. Okay. So this is kind of the only secondary mission that they've got out. You can replay it, I think, once a day. That looks like we've got... Um, before we go out, um, she did attach the insurance claim here. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, yada, yada, yada. So it looks like uh, he was... Uh, intoxicated and caused some people people's lives to be lost at uh, the Kovalek station which is one of the stations uh, that you can currently quantum leap to or quantum travel to QT um, there's you can go to a bunch of different arrays you can go to the cry astro station you can go to um, Korea I believe it's called Korea is the dangerous one um, we'll go to all of them eventually but for now We'll uh, stick with this mission, just see it through, and see where it takes us. Uh, Star Citizen is, uh, I've enjoyed it. I don't know if I'd recommend it just yet, but uh, I bought the Aurora Starter Package, as well as the Star Marine um, prepay, I guess, if you will, package. It was for 60 bucks, so you, I get to play this and then Star Marine whenever it, Wow. Just turned into a midget. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Take off complete. There we go. So I am up in my constellation. It's just me in the constellation, there's no one else, so I mean you can you can fly the constellation with one person. It's uh it's better as a group because you can have people doing turrets and things like that, but it's definitely manageable as one person. Travel initiated. This is what quantum travel looks like. We can't go directly to Kovalex because the planet's in the way. So I'm just making a little detour here. Probably gonna get some NPCs. No. Nope. You chose the wrong part of space to fly through. Yeah, they're there. So let's head over to Kovalex and do the mission. Now, just scanning for other players here, because... You know, for some reason, even though they have an Arena Commander module where you can do PvP and ships, there's always someone in the either the free-range mode or out in regular space that just wants to fuck with you. I don't get it, but it is what it is, I guess. This Kovalex shipping hub is currently closed to the public. We apologize for the inconvenience. So it's closed. That's fine. Hopefully that means there's no one here. Then we can do our mission. Oh, there is a ship. So he's blue. So right now he's blue. That means he is technically not considered a threat. Another ship just popped up. Um, if they were orange, like the enemy NPCs are, if a person is orange, um, then that means that they're a bandit, pretty much. That means that they've been killing other players. I'm going to try and sneak in over here so that they can't see me. 
Well, hopefully you can't see me. I mean, I imagine they probably will. But just on the off chance that they don't see me. A little bit of lag there. And now I'm really tall. And now I'm in... Now I'm in <laughs> this... Uh. Alright, let's go take a look and see what we can find. This elevator's a little bit wonky when you're out in space. Yep, a little bit wonky. Um, I think it's best if you have... I don't know. I hope they fix that. That you can just keep your ship stationary and in place while you, you know, get out. Otherwise you need someone at the helm waiting for you to do whatever you need to do outside the ship. So there's one of the ships that we spotted. If he's here, that means he's inside. And again, I don't have a gun. So... I guess I could wait for him to just come out and leave. But... Where's the fun in that? They're not bandits. They're probably just doing the mission, I would imagine. Um... This game is very shoot on sight, though. Well, I say that. Um, obviously, it sucks when it happens, but there are some players that don't do that. So we'll see. This station is currently off limits. Please vacate the area. Looks like there was some damage. That's how we were able to get in. No gravity. Taking a look inside there. Doesn't look like anybody's home. But I know there's a couple other players around. You know, I'm hoping that if they don't see a gun, then they just won't shoot. There's no chat or anything like that. Well, I mean, there's a chat, but it's a global chat. I do need a medikit, though, because I used one earlier. All right, so what I'm trying to do is find the evidence that that lady's husband was not the reason that all these people died. Which is why I'm assuming this place is closed. It's like an elevator shaft. It's the only way to go, so I guess we're going. Deck three. Easy Habs. It, it does have a spooky synth kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? That was some lag there. Pips. Let me write myself here. Yeah, that's better. Now everything looks like it should. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone yet. I don't know if there's multiple ways to get to this thing. Maybe there are, and maybe I just passed them. Oh, there, there is the objective right there. Someone just got in their ship. I heard uh, the shields activating. Okay, so that's one ship down. I don't know how he. I don't know where he was. All right, it looks like we're downloading some stuff. And there goes that ship. I wanted to let you know that I have received the information you sent and will be uploading the payment to your account. After all that, it seems that Kovalex was right. I'm sorry he cost those people their lives. And at least I know the truth now. All right. Turns out Darnell did do it with the ship at the Kobolek station. So I heard one ship uh, leaving, maybe two. I don't know. Oh, you can actually go in here. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. 
So there must be multiple. They they either weren't in here, or there must be multiple ways of getting this objective completed. Because I don't know. From what I can see, there's only one entrance way in, and you know, it's a pretty linear path. No, nope, not that way. But fine, I didn't die. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that win. Probably do need to buy a gun at some point. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it looks like the, there's, the ships are gone. Hmm. Well, that's good. No one's shooting there. Maybe, uh, maybe my faith in the citizens of the stars has been brought back. Just gotta play really cautiously in this game is all I found. It's kind of a little picture of how the jets work on your uh, suit. It's kind of cool. And as you can see, my constellation is uh, slowly spinning. Because it's been depressurized, I guess. What's the point of having that airlock, then, in the elevator? But now here comes the tricky part, because... <laughs> getting back into the constellation, through the elevator, while it rotates in space... It's always interesting, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but what you kind of have to do is... Get up real close. Make sure you're in this cubby hold. Well, yep. Didn't like me. Kicked me out. And now it's spinning even more. Alright. Um. Well, we do have a problem here. Olasar, we have a problem. Because I don't know how to stop it from, from spinning now. And getting back in that elevator is going to be quite the challenge. If anyone's got any uh, suggestions on how to not have this happen, feel free to leave a comment because I am stumped right here. I think it's... Has it gotten faster? Oh, wow. I'm really stretching out my back here. For some reason, I can't move. I can just look. I don't know if that happened when I... There we go. I was holding down Z, which is the look toggle. But let's try and uh, let's try and get back onto the constellation here. This is going to end badly. If I can open up the cargo bay, maybe we get in. Nope. Nope. Well. Well, goodbye, constellation. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> I need some kind of remote keyless entry lock or something like that. Turn on the ship. Well, I guess I'm uh, stranded here until someone comes to pick me up. Or maybe I can uh, just jetpack my way back to Port Olasar. That sounds like a good plan. Bye, Constellation. Anybody have a pickup? Well, I did get rescued, but uh, not by anybody friendly. Uh, they picked me up, knocked me unconscious, and brought me to this derelict space station. And uh, they basically told me that I have to kill five people before time runs out, you can see it at the top, I got seven minutes, or they're going to kill me. And as you can imagine, there are other people that they told that same story to. So there will be people out here looking to kill me so that they can stay alive. But I basically need to find five people in... Oh my goodness. Not a lot of minutes. 
just got to be really careful here. There's a guy there. Oh my god, he froze in fear. He froze in fear. That was close. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to kill you. But I don't plan on dying here. Not today. Not just because some space bandit said... You know, I had to. But uh, I gotta play their game for now. Uh, I have no intention of dying here today. There's someone on the minimap behind me. I can't really go and hide anywhere, because... Time is ticking down. And I don't know how many people are on this space station, to be honest with you. I hear shots. Sounds like a beam rifle or something. Does not sound like an assault rifle. Looks like I'm getting close to somebody though. Oh, nice. Okay. Whew. Apologies to you too, sir. That's two. I got five minutes left. Let me refill some ammo and relocate. Tossing a grenade. Tossing a terrible grenade. Tossing a second terrible grenade. Alright, that's three. Yeah, you might notice uh, I've only got three minutes left because I haven't found anybody in the last couple of minutes. There's a guy over there. There's a guy to my right. There's also a guy behind me now. I'm kind of stuck here. Can't go left or right. If I walk out, then I'm heavily exposed. I hear someone. There he is. Alright, aim. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's four. I don't know where this guy is. I do not have any good cover here. I gotta relocate. Alright. My plan is I'm gonna head back out into space in case I need to make a quick escape. If I don't find anybody else, I can at least jetpack off somewhere and hope for the best. Because if not... Oh! There's someone. He's not looking. Come on, aim. Oh my god, I have to reload. He's, oh my god. Alright, I got him. Whew. With a minute and a half to spare. I think I'm gonna survive. <laughs>